Hey guys, so I launched my second book in just four days. It's currently Sunday, so this video is totally out of sync. It's already gonna be launched by the time you see this. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to vlog it and basically take you guys along with me when I actually launch. Emotions could be up and down, let's see. But I've just done a YouTube live, I'm just getting used to them, and I'm just about to film a YouTube video as well. So I'm gonna be filming some edible cookie dough. So I'm looking forward to eating that. These are a couple of my recipes that that were featured in Fabulous magazine today. There she is. <sighs> You're making me yawn. Good morning guys. So I went to bed at 3 a.m. last night, which I'm not proud of because it means that I'm tired today and I woke up later than I wanted to. I woke up about nine, so it's not too bad, but it's too late for how much stuff I have to do. I went to Sainsbury's, got some bits for like dinner and everything, stocked up on some ingredients. I've just had breakfast, so I had Greek yogurt with raspberries, blueberries, mango, and honey. If you haven't tried mango in Greek yogurt, I'd really recommend it, only because I've only just tried it, and I think it's really nice. I'm checking my emails a lot today, because <laughs> this is gonna sound ridiculous. I might be on a TV show tomorrow, but it's not fully confirmed. And apparently TV can be like this. So I'm checking my emails, because I might have to literally jump in the car and head up to the studio to get there for tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna happen because I don't think it would be left this late not knowing, but who knows? So I'm just gonna get on with my day. I've got some of my protein recipes to do today, so that's what I'm gonna be doing, so I need to get them done by the end of the month. And yeah, let's get going because it's, it's too late already. <laughs> Finished my recipes for the day. Now I'm gonna go edit content before posting to social media later on. No email so far, so I take it tomorrow isn't happening, but <laughs> I'll keep updating you. I couldn't decide what to do with my very ripe bananas. So I went back to basics to make the moistest banana bread ever. Enjoy. So I've just got back from the gym and I've just had dinner. I went to the gym quite late. <coughs> <clears throat> Please don't say I'm getting a cold. Um, I finished work at about half seven, which is quite late, but not abnormal at the moment. I was getting kind of overwhelmed that I still had stuff to do and I just wanted to leave. So I still had like stories to do and everything, but I got them done. I went to the gym, I did an upper body workout and I've got a little bit more work to do tonight and then I'll probably just chill for the rest of the evening. I think I might put on some fake tan as well because I just feel better when I got some fake tan on and I need my hands to match my face. Um, <laughs> I heard back from the TV show. I'm not traveling up to the Midlands tomorrow to go on the show, which is kind of a relief because I just wasn't like mentally prepared for it. But it's not to say it won't happen. They just had to fill the slot with something else. So I'll let you guys know if and when that does happen. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Also, can I just say that my kitchen's not usually this messy, but we're leaving up all the tripods and everything to film another YouTube live and another YouTube video. Usually it's not this messy. <laughs> Good night. Morning guys. I've woken up with a sore throat and I'm not very happy about it. It started yesterday as like a little tickle when I was on my way to the gym and I've woken up and it's worse. And I am concerned because I have radio interviews tomorrow and I don't want it to get any worse. <laughs> so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But anyway, today I'm gonna make this from my book because it's going to be the video that I announced the release of my book with. So I think this will make a really good video. So fingers crossed that goes well today. Also, I'm gonna try and do the voiceover for it today, just in case my voice gets a lot worse and I can't do a voiceover, I then at least have the content. So this is me being very prepared and this is very unlike me. <laughs> 
So I literally just had this package turn up at my door, so I'll show you what I got. I got a Tangle teaser. I actually didn't plan on getting this, but I'd always meant to. So when I was searching, this came up and I was like, I should really, I should really get one of these. Um, secondly, I bought this Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm. Now it's not actually for my nipples. I don't need it for my nipples, but it's, uh, it had like loads of good reviews. I've never even heard of it before, but I wanted it for my lips to stop them being so dry. So I thought I'd give this a go. But what I actually went to buy was this package from Drunk Elephant. So it's the self-care package and it was a really good deal. I think it was like, 45 pounds, but 105 pounds worth of product. So I thought, sold, I'll buy it. So basically it's got baby facial, it's got the electrolyte water facial, the Lala Retro Whipped Cream, and the Virgin, I'm gonna butcher this, Marula Luxury Facial Oil. So I'm gonna try these out and just like see how I get on with them because right now I have like zero skincare routine. So I'm gonna give it a go and report back because I feel like I should probably have some sort of facial routine, especially as I'm getting older, guys. <laughs> Today is a bit of a struggle. I've just posted to all my Instagram, TikTok, YouTube accounts, Bernie just Facebook, which I'm very relieved about. <laughs> Edited content, I still have some content to do, hence I'm laying on the sofa because I needed a change of scenery from the office. Um, my voice doesn't sound that bad, does it? It hurts to swallow, but my actual voice hasn't got worse. So I'm quite proud of that. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that anyway. I don't know how I can be proud of my throat, but anyway. I tried that new <laughs> Dr. Lip nipple balm and when I first opened it, I had to squeeze really hard to like get the first bit out and then loads came out and I was like, what am I gonna do with all of this? So I tried to use it for every recommended use on the packet. So I put loads on my lips and then apparently you could use it as like a cheek highlighter. So I put it on my cheeks. So if it's shiny, that's that's why. I also put it on my forehead because I thought if you could put it on your cheeks, you can put it on your forehead. I tamed my brows so if they look sticky, that's why I've got it on there. I put some on my nose. Um, I put some on my cuticles. I had a lot. What else did I do? I think that was it. I think that I think that was it. Done. Didn't didn't even put it. Have to put it on my nipples. I am actually working, by the way. I'm editing content on my phone. I actually edit almost all my content on my phone. The only content I edit on Premiere Pro on the computer is my long form YouTube videos and my Snapchat series, or whenever I just need to add music to something, just because it's easier. So I have my snacks ready and I have my towel set up on my sofa so I don't get tan on it. The proof is in the pizza. It's pudding. Good morning guys, it is the day before book launch. The nerves are definitely kicking in a little bit. I couldn't sleep that well last night. I was kind of just overthinking everything, like have I done enough? How's this one gonna go? How's it gonna do in comparison to last year and everything? Um, so just all of, all of that sort of stuff. But I've just finished making my chocolate lasagna and that's really delicious. It's like really cold and creamy and chocolatey and I just love Oreos and Nutella together. I have four radio interviews today. Well, I was supposed to have four, but the first one at 11.50 actually got canceled because there was some breaking news. I don't actually know what the breaking news is, but I'm sure I'll find out if it's really important. So I now have three left and one is like a 20 minute segment and I'm just hoping my voice is gonna hold out for it. It still hurts and I feel like a bit bunged up, but I feel like my voice is hanging it, hanging on in there. So fingers crossed they go well, but I'm gonna go finish editing the rest of this. Also, just whilst I'm in the middle of eating my lasagna, I forgot to mention I was actually supposed to go out for lunch today as like a pre-book launch celebratory lunch and also to have some press shots taken. So I was supposed to be going out with the PR um, 
but there's loads of train strikes today and it was gonna be a real struggle for everyone to get there, so we've rescheduled it for next week. Um, okay, so I came up with it six or seven years ago when I was working as a personal trainer and I was learning to enjoy all foods in moderation. So it encompasses my two passions, fitness and food, but the fit part also means fitting all foods into your diet, so balance and moderation. And the waffle part also refers to waffling on because I tend to talk a lot too. <laughs> So I finished my radio interviews for the day. The last one, they were supposed to call at 4.50 and they called like 20 minutes early. So my phone started ringing and I was like, oh my gosh, the radio is calling. And I answered and they were like, sorry, we're late. And I was like, no, you're not late, you're early. And they were like, I think there's been a mix up. Are you okay to go on now? And I was like, yeah, okay, it's fine. <laughs> So it was a bit unexpected, but it went absolutely fine. A few little hiccups in one of the interviews, like I had to clear my throat on live radio, but it's fine, it's, it's normal. I haven't had any lunch, so I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's quick, pick up a sandwich, and then I'm gonna hop on YouTube live for like 30 minutes. And I just think the Easter recipes are really pretty. Shall I show you one of the Easter recipes from my book? I'm like showing you guys loads of recipes from my book and I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to be doing this. Happy publication day! My book is finally out in the world and I'm so happy about it. Like, I cannot wait for everyone to receive their books. I don't think a lot of people have received their books yet, especially on Amazon. Like, I've ordered myself a book from Amazon because you've got to support yourself, you know? So, mine hasn't arrived yet. Publication day is a bit of a strange one because it's really exciting but it's also quite nerve-wracking because I just want everything to go well. I just want everything to be perfect but there's so many things that are out of my control like when Amazon deliver like the price guarantee and everything so there's always some ups and downs but overall I'm really excited for everyone to receive their books I don't actually have much planned today I learned from last year not to book in anything on publication day so no interviews or anything just because my main priority is getting the word out there across my social media and then just responding to messages last year I literally must have responded to over a thousand messages on my social media Media between now and the weekend but that's that's what I want to do I want to get back to every single person who bought my book so I'm gonna be doing a lot of typing <laughs> so I'm going to go to Sainsbury's because I'm hoping they're gonna have my book in stock and I want to see it and I might buy myself another copy if it is there um, but I'm not getting my hopes up because last year my local Sainsbury's didn't actually get my book until probably four days after release date. It might not be there, but I'm gonna go check anyway and keep my fingers crossed. Guys, it's not here yet. So I've just been to Sainsbury's and they didn't have my book, but I'm not surprised, so no biggie. But to celebrate publication day, I got myself this bar of chocolate. And I tried it like the other day and I ate it in like two days and it's so good. It's the Tony Chocoloni's strawberry cheesecake flavor collab with Ben and Jerry's. It's so good. I'm pretty sure it's a limited edition though. Also totally off topic, but the guy behind the till in Sainsbury's told me that, I don't know if this is every Sainsbury's, but they're getting rid of service checkouts and they're only gonna have self-service checkouts. And I don't know if I agree with that. Because like not everyone can work the self-service checkouts very well, you know. But anyway, look what just arrived at my door. I got flowers. They're from my publisher at Ivory and they're gorgeous. They're like a really pretty peach color. Um, did you see them properly? I just love having flowers in my home. I think they really brighten everything up. And it's such a nice little present. It makes the day a little bit more special. Guys, look at this. This is all the people that have bought my book so far. Well, not all of them, but look how many pictures and comments there are. This is so cool. So it's kind of late now. Myself and Bernie have just been for a celebratory meal at McDonald's. I had chicken selects, which I actually never get, but I'm gonna start getting them more because I actually really like them. The book is currently at number six in all books on Amazon. That is literally mind blowing. And I think that's actually better than how my first book did. I can't 100% remember, but Bernie says it is. So that's really, really cool. So hopefully it keeps improving. I've just been to Aldi. I wanted to show 
<laughs> you're, you're like, why, why are you showing me this? Basically, I got this um, Haribo Super Mix Mini, Super Mini Mix. It says there's approximately 21 bags. There is no way. So I'm gonna open them and I'm gonna count them. 38 bags in my 21 pack. What a bargain. <laughs> what a great day. So it's about half one in the morning. I really need to go to bed. But look where my book is. It's number four in all books on Amazon. This is literally crazy. Thank you so much. Good morning guys, so I've just done my first radio interview of the day today, it was at 9.40am which meant that I had to get up earlier than I've been getting up recently, but that's a good thing, I needed to, I need to get back into a routine because I keep going to bed so late, like I went to bed last night at like 2am, so it's not good. I've had a hot chocolate to warm my voice up because I'm always so croaky in the morning. I have another radio interview in like five minutes and then I'm going into London later today because I have an interview at 8 p.m. in studio, like live in studio at a proper radio station. So I'm a little bit nervous for that. So hopefully these will give me like a good enough warm up. So I feel a bit more confident. <laughs> London. I just did my first ever live in studio radio interview and it was so much fun. It was a really nice first experience. I was actually on there with another girl, like another business owner, which for my first time on the radio, it was actually really nice. It was nice to speak to someone else that was like also being interviewed, like it was a lot more comforting. So that was a lot of fun. Before I went there, I also went for dinner at a place called Smashing Plates, which is like a casual Greek restaurant. I had a chicken souvlaki salad salad and that was really nice and the halloumi fries were like in a honey and sesame seeds in a honey and sesame seeds in honey and sesame seeds <laughs> and they were really really good so I definitely recommend I still have like some lunches and dinners planned with my PR and my publisher so the celebrations will continue also I forgot to say it was quite funny turning up to the news building it's a huge building and it was pretty empty because it was like eight o'clock on a Friday night but um security getting in oh my gosh I didn't think they were gonna let me in at first because basically he was like what's your name who are you here to see and I couldn't remember the full name of the guy <laughs> that I was supposed to be seeing and he was like I'm sorry you have to stand over there until you know the full name so I was like okay I'll get out the email <laughs> and then they wouldn't let Bernie in because he was with me but he wasn't on the list I was like oh my gosh so luckily I rang the producer and um it was all good like once <laughs> once we were through security it was like really really friendly and really chilled, but just getting through them, I mean, it's a good thing, right? Like, you want to have high security there, but um, it was quite funny. Okay, let's give it a taste test. It's hot. It's very creamy. I'm not getting like a strong sticky toffee flavor, but I think I put too much milk in because this is a really big mug and it said 200 milliliters of milk. I think I've gone over that. Good morning guys, today is Sunday, so it's going to be the last day of this vlog, because that'll be a whole week. I've just cut up my caramel fudge crunch bars that I made yesterday, and oh my gosh, they are so good, like the chocolate crispy bit against the caramel in the middle. I just absolutely love them. I'm actually gonna go into Windsor today, because Windsor has the works, WH Smith, and Waterstones. So technically they should all have my book and I'm gonna bring a pen along with me and I'm gonna try and sign some of them. So I thought that would be fun and also it's a really nice day and I really need to get some fresh air. I did not sleep well at all last night. I don't know why I went to bed really late and then I just couldn't get to sleep and I kept waking up. So I'm running on low energy today but hopefully some fresh air will do me good and I need to leave the house. <laughs> So 
So I've just been in the works and my book isn't there. So we're walking to Waterstones. <laughs> We've just been to Waterstones and WH Smith's and they both had my book. So I signed like four copies, I think. Basically every copy that they had in store, I signed them, which was cool. So guys, I'm going to end the video there. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more vlog style videos like this. I actually really enjoyed filming it. I enjoyed just like having a chat and talking about my feelings <laughs> and like just filming random stuff. Um, yeah, so let me know what other sort of content you want to see that's similar. I'm really happy with how the book launch went. We're still hanging around the top 10 books in all books on Amazon, which is amazing. So I'm really proud of that, chilling up there with Prince Harry. <laughs> also, I've just got word from my publisher that we might be in the Sunday Times bestseller list. So fingers crossed, I won't have full confirmation just yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. So um, that would be really cool. And I'll let you know in the comments or descriptions if the book makes it. If not, you won't hear from me. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon, bye.